Well, welcome to Spider-Man Movie Game. You remember the film done by Sam Raimi back in 2002. Good film it was, really. One of the better superheroes films I've seen. Still one of my favorites, so... Hmm. Oh uh, yeah, Treyarch created this game. Their late last involvement with Spider-Man was porting over the original Neversoft Spider-Man game over to the Sega Dreamcast. And this is their game, their next original one. Just like Vicarious Visions, uh, they a different company or development team handled development of a new Spider-Man game. In this case, we got the Spider-Man the movie game. It's certainly a far cry from the original. It still feels like it, but it's very different from what you'll remember. Anyway, enjoy. This is how my story begins. My Uncle Ben and Aunt May raised me like a son. They never had much money, though. I thought my powers could help make up for that. The last time I saw Uncle Ben alive, we argued. I took out my frustration in the ring. Poor Bonesaw never even saw me coming. Come on if the nice guy! The fight promoter cheated me, so I didn't think it was my problem when he got robbed. Somebody! Stop it! 12 Henry, call back on that 187 in connection with the carjacking at the 42nd Street Library. 10-4, suspect believed to be a member of the Skull's gang. Proceed with caution. Uncle Ben. Murdered. I... I have to find the guy who did it. There's nothing Peter Parker can do at this point. But Spider-Man is a different story. This is supposed to be the Skull's territory. I'll find Uncle Ben's killer if I have to go through every one of the Skulls to do it! So, this is the new Spider-Man gameplay. Well, for starters, we have a free camera. Which... Yeah, is a nice improvement. You no longer have to rely on the basic camera to do your job. Or normally you had to press L1 and it would recenter. This, you have finally, you know, at least control of you know, where you're gonna go. And the biggest difference is the web swing. It is far different now. Lock-on is also different. Instead of L2 targeting, instead now you got camera lock where you can lock onto your enemies. Didn't know anything, but I'm just getting started. It makes gameplay far easier. And of course we still have the basic abilities. Web dome, impact webbing. A different kind of web yank actually, but yeah. And of course, web, you know, gloves. Still help your punches be better. Yeah. And of course, one of the other changes is the absence of comics. A feature around since basically the, the Amazing Spider-Man versus the Kingpin from probably both the Sega Genesis and CD versions. Never played it myself, so can't tell you. But I do know that's where it originated from. But now in their place is combo, golden spider combo token things. With them you can now learn new abilities, most, most of which you won't see me use. Thank you so much, you saved my life! Don't worry about it lady, I gotta go. 
Wait! Before you go, I lost my purse on one of the rooftops around here. On a different rooftop? Yes! Different from this one? Yes. Are you serious? Are you taking some kind of tour of city rooftops? Yes! Okay, whatever. I'll find your purse for you. Thank you. Anyway, uh, now I gotta find a purse. This is, I believe, one of the few side quests in the game. Because even through this game, this first level tries to make you believe it's non-linear, but it's... <laughs> that we haven't gotten to Spider-Man 2 yet, so... It's more linear, just like the rest of the previous games before this. But anyway, what you're seeing here now is one of the new extra moves that Spidey has. Just like the web moves where they require directions to do different things, they've been added to the every other button you can do. You can jump whatever direction you want to go, you can punch in special ways, kick in special ways. Another dead end. Well, one of these losers is going to give me some answers. Here's a purse. I'd better hurry so I don't lose the trail of that killer. Here's your purse back. Thank you so much. This city could use more masked vigilantes like well, you. If you say so. Try to stay off rooftops from now on. A lot of gang members seem to hang out up here. I will. Thanks again. Yeah. So anyway, if the goal here is if you haven't noticed, you gotta find a bunch of skull gang members. And you gotta beat them up. As indicated on the new fancy radar, we now have a more revised version of the tracker, which looks basically the same, but we also have, you know, a height gauge. The blue is basically our goal, the red is Spidey himself. Nothing. I'm sure I'm getting warmer though. That murderer can't get away from me. Who's yeah. And as you can see, there's nothing preventing me from just knocking them off the roof. Something that the newest Sonic Spider-Man game won't have, so... <laughs> but then again, you only one game allowed you to pile drive, you know, a, a random goon off the Empire State Building. So, yeah. And anyway, here, we just gotta be up two basic thugs. <laughs> a carjacker killed an old man earlier today. The killer's a skull. Where is he? I can't tell you. He killed me. What makes you think I won't? Shipping warehouse. It's right on the river. That's all I know. Thanks. Oh! Sounds like the police are closing in. They can have whatever's left after I'm done. Yep, this is Search for Justice, yeah. Since this is uh, essentially New Game Plus, those aren't new. What's this door doing open? Man! People gotta be more careful. The cops could show up at any time. Yeah, this is played on an old save file, so most of the score I get won't matter. But anyway, second level. We're now in a chop shop and we uh, gotta continue finding Spike. If 
you remember he's the carjacker from the movie. But we won't worry about him now. Because here's a stealth section, a very minor one. So whenever our Spidey's icon dims, that's an indication that, yeah, he's stealth mode. You don't have to worry about getting caught. Of course, if you get caught, then yeah, you, those guys come out. I guess the only way I know you can not get that is if you don't get seen by the first few enemies in this area here. In this one garage, this big one. As long as you don't get caught, you don't have to worry about the extra mooks having to come out and beat you up. And since I'm on superhero mode, they could really be punishing. Basically, you cannot be careless on this difficulty. So, basically, you gotta be aware of what you're doing at all times. Use your environment here like I am. And most especially use combos. Otherwise, you're not gonna be in for a, a very easy time. Then again, superhero is not, mode is not for the faint of heart. So if you're gonna play this mode, you better be prepared. And just a reminder, Every Spider-Man game, first, second, this one, they always up the difficulty each game. So, yeah, think of it as this, hard mode, first games, like, Interlectro's int normal mode, sort of. Interlectro's hard mode is occasionally a bit like this game's normal mode. These are not easy games at times. Of course, if you are at least aware of what you're doing, you shouldn't have a hard time. Stop right there, murderer! Huh? What the? Don't let him through! I got the door fuse, boss. He ain't getting through. What's with the get up, chump? Yep. And immediately, you can start off with an ambush. So since I'm playing on superhero mode, normally the tour guide, aka Bruce Campbell, won't be here to narrate how to play the game. Even if you don't play the tutorial, he'll still help you here. One of the basic things he teaches this level is stealth, and the other thing is throwing. It's not as slow as it was in the previous games. They added abilities so you could streamline it. Meaning, if you press the kick button next to one, you'll immediately throw it instead of having to take the time to lift it up and aim at your target. This is very useful, so better take advantage. They've taken a fuse out of the control panel. I'll have to get that back if I want to open that door. So long, freak! Oh, by the way, that is instant death if you get hit by it. So... Even on easy mode, that will kill you if it runs you over, so be careful. Otherwise, you just push overs, at least when they're alone. And of course, we're up to our next part. I can't let anything stop me. I have to find a way to shut off the power so I can get through. That should do it. Now to find the guy who killed Uncle Ben. Although I'm pretty sure he's went through that locked door, we gotta do some different thinking. To get through. They've taken a fuse out of the control panel. I'll have to get that back if I want to open that door. Yep, never nothing's ever so easy. So yep, you gotta go through some more stuff to get that vital piece to opening the door. Of course, you've seen the cutscene, so you should know. You ain't getting this fuse. Better take off while you still can. Easy to say that behind a locked door, coward! Ah. Yep. And that's our first elite mook, I guess you could say, we're about to run into. That's where I need to be. Now I just need to find a way to get there. Yep, and we gotta get into that room to fight him. Well, of course, that's a really bad idea with this health. That takes care of that. Now to get that fuse. So, yep. Green Jacket Man. If I were to fight him with this health on superhero mode, I... I can guarantee you it would not be a very pleasant experience. 
They're tough enough already on normal mode, or any any easier difficulty. But on superhero mode, mmm, don't fight them head on. Well, I sh <laughs> you're really prepared. Oh, and of course, uh, the previous game's camera problems still exist in this game. The problem is, yeah, they don't. The controls cannot adapt to, you know, you changing the camera. That's at least a nice thing, because in the original games, it only happened whenever you were climbing up ledges. It would mess up your controls. But now it can happen anywhere, if you turn the camera around in different angles. This fuse should get that door open. No. Now we gotta put this back in its piece, and we can continue. This is where the fuse goes. Now I've got you! Well, yeah, pretty enthusiastic. Funny, we're playing superhero mode, but uh, our hero, Spidey, is not very good at being a hero. More, you know, just revenge. But, hey, what are you gonna do? But anyway, yeah. Another thing that looks like what I'm doing is trying to look for health. The only problem is, in hot superhero mode, health does not respawn that often, if at all. So, yeah, if you're playing superhero mode, you gotta spare your resources very well. Otherwise, you're gonna be in for a rough time. But don't worry, there's one right here. So I'm spared the trouble. Of course, we gotta take these enemies out to progress, so... Let them eat a bunch of tires. Anyway, that should be it for the second level. Anyway, see you next time for Birth of a Hero in Part 2. Not your usual zero, signing off.